He's there. Oh dear, oh dear. We're hoping we could move on from the uh, American election now, but it would appear like we've got a lot more to discuss on that yet. So since I made my last video, I was prepared to reluctantly accept that Trump had lost. I could see that there was some uh, potential fraud going on. But there's always potential fraud going on when you have a, an election. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to alter the outcome. But over the last couple of days, I have seen more and more potential fraud. And it's just got to the stage now where I actually believe that the Democrats have been planning this for four years. And they know that... that the fraud itself is not going to go unnoticed. I'm guessing that they obviously thought at some point that they couldn't get away with it. There were too much to get away with. So I would say that what they've done now is they've just basically said, well, to hell with it. We're not going to get away with it. So we may as well just go for it full scale and create so much of it that if Trump does take it to court... There's going to be so much of it for the courts to sift through that it's going to take them years to sort it all out. But of course, they only have really until the end of January 2021 to sort it out and then Joe Biden will be inaugurated. And then it will be a case of, well, OK, yes, if there's crime going on, we can clear up all the crime. The courts will be able to clear it up, but it'll be too late to achieve what Trump's team really need to achieve, and that's to stop the election from going ahead with all the fraud. So let's have a look at what we've got so far. This is what I've seen so far. We've got dead people voting. We've got poll watchers being uh, denied entrance to the stations. We've got poll watchers who have been thrown out of the stations all to cheers from the poll counters who are clearly wearing Biden masks. We've got ballots being printed that don't even have Trump's name on it. Now, if you look in the description box, I'll leave a link to a video uh, about that. It's just a five minute video from Fox News. And I was horrified after seeing that. We've got dead cats voting. We've got, uh, we've got, States declaring a victory for Biden before all votes have been counted. Uh, and oh, there's, there's, there's some more on top. I've, you know, I've lost track. There's so much of it, I've lost track. But the other thing that's irritating me is that I keep seeing on the media, particularly the BBC, how they're saying that Trump is making unsubstantiated cases and he's not providing any evidence of the fraud. Well, A... He doesn't have to provide any evidence to the media. They've got fuck all to do with it. The only thing he needs to do is to provide evidence to the court, to his lawyers that will provide it to the courts. And as far as the allegations of fraud being unproven and unsubstantiated, well, all allegations of crime are unsubstantiated and unproven until they have been investigated, evidence gathered, evidence supplied to the courts, then the courts decide, based on the evidence, of whether the defendant is guilty or not. So there is a legal process to follow, but of course they are unproven. So this is the level, the level of fraud or potential fraud going on here. I should say alleged fraud or potential fraud, for, for now at least, but it's on such a vast scale... I would say that Belarusians are looking at the American elections right now and feeling rather jealous that they couldn't outdo them as far as vote rigging is concerned. So keep your eyes peeled. I will keep you informed of everything that I see going on. But there's a lot here so far that looks like it's going to have to play out. But whether, whether all this now, so there's so much of it, and whether all this can be sifted through by the courts by the end of January, I very much doubt. And therefore, I don't think they'll be able to stop Biden from being inaugurated. But let's hope that they've got a good legal case on, on, the, on the case, a good legal team on the case, and uh, it can be pushed through quickly. OK, thanks for watching. I'll keep you informed. Until next time, easy.